Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's session, we are going to see what SAP is. This video is meant for beginners in SAP who would like to learn SAP from scratch. Now let's get into the video. First, let's understand that SAP is a company. SAP is a multinational company that makes SAP the software. SAP is headquartered in Waldorf, Germany with regional offices in around 180 countries and around 425,000 customers in over 180 countries. These are the statistics collected as on 31st March the year 2019. Five ex-IBMers, their names and pictures displayed here, are the founders of SAP. In 1972, these five engineers had a vision to change the way the companies were doing business by developing a software that could transform the world of information technology. Now, even after 47 years, SAP, the company, still runs with the same zest inspired by its founders and it's continuing to transform the IT industry. We just saw the introduction to SAP, the company. Now let's have an introduction of SAP, the ERP software. SAP is an acronym for Systems, Applications and Products in Data Processing. SAP is a leading ERP software in the market today. The software provides a single platform that embraces all the departments of the company and its business processes. The latest version in which SAP functions as on date is ECC 6.8 that is ERP Central Component 6 and Enhancement Package 8. Now we know that SAP is an ERP software. Next question is what is ERP software and why the need for an ERP software like SAP came up? Well, Enterprise Resource Planning software is a set of computer programs that integrates the business processes of all the departments of a company like manufacturing, material requisition planning, finance, logistics, HR and so on. Now let's see the evolution of ERP. Imagine the way business would operate without an ERP software. In earlier days, computer applications were highly decentralized and standalone systems. This was so because the computer programs were highly expensive and the companies had computerized only few of its business units where it felt that cost can be justified. There was no integration among these standalone systems. That is why it is called standalone, right? Now, since the business units departments were decentralized, data was not available across the departments to take collective business decisions quickly. Considerable time was wasted in getting data from scattered systems. Now companies started losing business. That is when the need was felt to have a single system that could handle all the department's requirements of the enterprise. Thereby ERP software was born. ERP software is capable of bringing the complete gamut of business processes of all the departments of an enterprise in its fold. The advantage is now you have real-time information available in a single centralized system and data readily available to take vital business decisions quickly. Here you can see ERP as a central database management system that has all the departments and their business processes tightly integrated. Now real-time data and information can flow among all the departments like human resource management, customer relationship management, finance resource management and so on. Now in this picture, you can see how SAP ERP is a central component with various core ERP and public sector modules are integrated and available in one place. Over the years, SAP has widened its product categories. Let's have an overview of the portfolio categories 
that ACP provides across industries. The products include ERP and digital core, analytics, CRM and customer experience, intelligent technologies, network and spend management, HR and people engagement, digital supply chain, digital platform. Here is an overview of the industries supported by SAP solutions. Energy and natural resources, consumer industries, service industries, financial services, discrete industries, public services. SAP is used by many Fortune 1000 and Fortune 500 companies to successfully process the enormous data and generate reports in real time. This helps efficient management of business processes and saves valuable time. Here is a quick look at few familiar business names that is using SAP. We have come to the end of the session. The topics we just discussed are what is SAP, what is ERP, what are the portfolio categories of SAP? Which are the industries supported by SAP solutions? What are the core modules in SAP ERP? Please remember, these could be your interview questions as well. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you had liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please share it among your friends. And if you are new to my channel, Please consider subscribing for more such interesting videos and to learn SAP for free. Take care. Bye for now.